how to sell your home without an agent like myself. Some of you sellers are interested in learning how to sell your home without an agent. And I'm gonna tell you guys how. I would hope that they have some kind of background because these disclosures and contracts and then documents that y'all have to do, man, you need to know what you're doing. You need to know what you're doing, you know? Selling your home, okay? One of the topics today is about selling your home. But it's not the typical selling your home topic. How to sell your home without an agent like myself. Some of you sellers are interested in learning how to sell your home without an agent. Hiring an agent. Paying for their commission. And I'm going to tell you guys how. All right? How to sell your home in today's market without an agent. So if you are a seller, if you know a seller, you can share this video with them, okay? Tag me. So the first thing you gotta do as the owner, if you're looking to sell your home without an agent, you gotta determine how much your home is worth. Not how much you think the home is worth, how much the market thinks the home is worth, okay? So how do you do that? You go to open houses on nearby homes in your area that's similar in square feet, bed count all of that it needs to be similar to yours you can't compare your three bedroom two bath 1000 square foot home to a 3000 square foot five bedroom four bath house okay i see that happening all the time a owner wants to sell their house and they're comping their homes and comparing it to like a million dollar home it's like yeah you guys are neighbors but their home is different from your home you cannot use that comp okay i'm sorry and then when i say that to them and then i don't get the listing because <laughs> they get because they get upset you know that i told them that their home is not worth that much you know because i was just being real determine how much your home is worth okay you can even ask call your agent shoot call me and i'll tell you how much your home is worth even though i'm not gonna get a job get a pretty good comparison on your home do not rely on zillow zillow's estimates are highly manipulated okay they got in trouble for that uh recently okay do not rely on zillow zillow uh it's come a long way with their estimates but they are not 100 percent accurate they're not accurate okay a appraiser will tell you straight up don't use zillow's estimates okay now not number only they're two not accurate they're also hilarious <clears throat> they are super hilarious you know sometimes i'll get a seller that calls me charles they'd be like gee zillow says my home is worth this much Call it for me, please. I'm like, uh, hold on. Let me double check Zillow's work. I mean, you guys have seen some of the shows that I've done here to where I compare Zillow's estimates to actual comps in the area, right? And most of the time they're wrong. You guys have seen it on the shows, but consult with somebody, you know, and trust and get their opinion about your home. Okay, and then go from there. Okay, the second thing you need to do is you need to prepare your home, okay? When I say prepare, I'm not saying you find out the price, you took pictures, and now it's on the market. You don't want to do that because then what if a buyer calls you and they want to see the home, it's not ready, meaning you didn't prepare it. You didn't declutter what needed to be decluttered or matter of fact, the home is empty. You don't log, nobody lives there and you don't stage it. You don't clean it, all of that. Okay, so prepare the home. You know, you want to attract the buyers right now, especially with people, uh, buyers being super picky, even though we don't have a lot of inventory, they're being super picky now because they know that sellers are going to accommodate them, their requests. Buyers are being picky. So you want to be able to draw them to your house. And the first place they go to is on Zillow, Redfin or Realtor.com. And if your pictures on there were shot by your phone and not an actual photographer that did a good job editing it, doing all the good lightings, they're not gonna wanna come see your home. Today, I showed a home. There was no photos of the interior on the home. So my client was super curious. I was curious. Normally, when there's no photos of an inside of a house, it means it looks too good. I'm just playing. <laughs> it, means, <laughs> it means it doesn't look good inside or it means that somebody's still in there. They have a lot of stuff in there. And it's not photo ready. It's not picture pretty. When we showed up, Sure enough, man, there was no room to move. Boxes everywhere. We couldn't even see the full layout because they were packing. I mean, I get it. But then again, that is not ready, okay? Something like that, it is not ready. That home is going to stay on the market for a while because people that go in there, their impression is going to be like, yuck, you know? And they're not even going to want to look at it no more. So impression is everything. Pictures, draw them in from online who want to come see you in person and then cleaning and decluttering and staging the home gets the home prepared and also another preparation is you need to be ready 
to pick up your phone and answer these calls that buyer are calling in regards about and scheduling them to come. So be prepared for that if you're planning on selling your home without an agent. And then three, you got to market your home properly. It means social media like this or letting your neighbors know, maybe print out flyers, pass it down to neighbors, let the friends and family in the area know that you're selling your home, put up an ad something okay you just gotta market your house okay a lot of times what agents do is they will market your house whether it's through social media or through their other clientele okay because not all agents do this but a really good listing agent will pay for marketing on your home they will pay for the staging they will pay for the photos you don't have to do none of that that's what you're gonna need to prepare to do if you're selling your home without an agent okay the next step when you're taking pictures of the home again i already mentioned this don't you Use this. Okay, yeah, phones have come a long way with their camera qualities. They're great, but then don't take a picture on your phone. I always like to tell people I don't hire a photographer for them to take the picture. I hire them because of their editing skills. Yes, you guys heard it here first. I hire editors for their editing skills, not for their angles or I mean that matters too but they're not really for taking the picture I could do that on here okay I hired them because I want them to take good professional photos and edit it professionally and you're gonna need to prepare to do the same thing all right next step be prepared to do your own documents okay so when you get an offer that comes in you need to you need to uh, make sure that you're vetting the offers the buyers make sure that they're qualified don't just accept an offer without vetting that buyer because what if that buyer is not qualified they just fell over the home and then they started the pre-approval process and then you're already a weekend then you realize oh shoot you're not even qualified to buy my home why why did you submit an offer then because i love your home seller that happens more than you you would think dude it, it happens a lot so screen every offer that comes in how do you do that will you get an offer make sure there's a pre-approval letter attached to it if they're using cash make sure they send you a bank statement and they could cross out their account number that shows the available funds but when you get that pre-approval letter for them call their lender find out how long they've been looking find out what their uh, debt to income ratio and all that is you know like if they share that with you vet them out Okay, you want to do that and then if you come across a buyer's offer that you do end up liking you're gonna you're thinking about accepting make sure you know how to read the offers okay and make sure you know how to handle all the documentations when they order home inspections be prepared for that they're gonna start sending you documentations about requesting repairs on your home are you ready to negotiate so be prepared for that okay another thing too is appraisals the first step you found out how much your home is worth hopefully not through zillow now you have a actual appraiser that was ordered by the buyer's bank and the appraiser now is going to be giving a, a their opinion on how much your home is worth if it comes back lower are you going to be okay with that if it comes back higher you can't cancel anymore because again the buyer submitted it at a certain price and you agreed at a certain price so now you left money on the table for a buyer be prepared for that if you're planning on selling your home without using an agent if everything goes through smoothly remember you're doing all of this while you're still planning on moving out where your next location is going to be if you're still staying in the home if it's vacant then you're good but be prepared for the closing process now because everything went through their loan docs are in they signed they're going to do their final walkthrough on the property to make sure you didn't take anything hide anything like remove your chandelier that you promised to leave again I've seen some crazy things happen, but they're gonna do a final walkthrough again to make sure that the property's still intact, like when they first agreed and saw it. So once all that's done, you gotta get ready to pass over the keys to the new buyers and go through all of that. And if you've lived in the home for under two years, but you made money, be prepared to pay capital gains tax, okay? Depending on where you're at. But in California here, if you live in the home for under two years and you sell it, capital gains, okay? And then that's how you sell a home without an agent you just gotta do all of that it's not a lot but you know you just gotta do all of that <laughs> i know you're being sarcastic <laughs> i'm not Ooh, being sarcastic some sellers bit. some just sellers are bit. able to do all of this you know <laughs> i would hope that they have some kind of background because these disclosures and contracts and then documents that you all have to do man you need to know what you're doing you need to know what you're doing you know i've been in so many situations you know with friends or clients that buyers or listing agent just 
didn't actually read or fill out the documents properly before they even submitted an offer. And that's the thing that's scary, right? So you got people that just really don't know what they're doing or they kind of, you know, know some of it, but then they're actually representing that person that they're trying to buy or sell this house for, right? Like you mentioned, again, it's like you said, yeah, you can do it on your own, but man, having the right agent that has the right representation is huge and giving you all of that. There's so much that goes into it. And that's what's going to get your there house is, sold quick. There's you know? so much that goes into it. Like a lot lot of clients what they don't realize is they don't see their listing agents negotiating behind closed doors for them you guys don't know this but then sometimes we do so much like negotiating credits negotiating repairs things like that not all the time that it goes smoothly sometimes you know you fight back and sometimes you gotta cancel to kind of get their attention. There's a lot of going back and forth and sellers, are you prepared to do that? You have a nine to five, you have your own family, your own drama, your own life. And now you gotta learn how to be a negotiator about your home. Your emotions are still attached to the home and so imagine when you're going through the repairs request and you're looking at the home inspection report that Charles just gave the buyers. My home does not have that many dry rock. Or what? His drone went underneath my cross space and found all those leaks? I don't have <laughs> leaks. You know, you're going to get super offended. You're going to get super like worked out, you know? And so are you prepared for that? emotionally because it's gonna happen that's where when you hire like an expert to represent you in selling a home they don't have any emotions attached to it like it's not that they don't have feelings it's that they know what gets the job done they are there to help you sell your home so that you can move into the next chapter of your life without drama without being worked up without being emotionally down because it's gonna happen you can sell the home without an agent and it's gonna save you money when it comes to the commission but you're gonna gain a lot more with that lower commission you're gonna be more time consumed because you're gonna be answering phone calls about every buyer coming in you're gonna be talking to appraisers home inspectors charles is gonna be calling you like hella late at night saying can i come in and inspect your home tomorrow morning at 5 a.m i'm just playing <laughs> but if you are prepared for it and you are okay with it, by all means, that is awesome. And that's why I wanted to go over all the steps with you guys because some sellers do rather sell their home without an agent and that's perfectly fine. But other than that, I think I'm gonna close this out, Charles. I'm gonna let everybody go, uh, but we'll see you guys soon, next week. All right, Chi Chi fans, peace out. <laughs>